listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Today is also the feast day of a whole bunch of saints, St. Basil the Great, his friend Gregory, but not only that, St. Basil the Great's sister and mother and father and grandparents, they're all saints, and we're celebrating them all today. But before we get to that, St. Basil the Great and many of his relatives were incredible students. I know many of you are currently students. So this month in the BSN Kids Club, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is challenging us to say the prayer for students each day. You can find the words to this prayer in the notes for this podcast. So if you will please join me in saying this prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, our God, in your wisdom and love, you surround us with the mysteries of the universe. Send your spirit upon us and fill us with your wisdom and blessings. Grant that we may devote ourselves to our studies. Through them, draw us ever closer to you, the source of all knowledge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So like I said, today is the feast day of St. Basil the Great. So he, among his friends and siblings and parents and grandparents is probably the most well-known of all these saints because he is a pretty big deal. He is a father of the church. He lived a long time ago. So he lived in the 300s. And just a little quick history, Jesus ascended back up into heaven roughly in the year 33. And then for the next 300 years, the church suffered terrible persecution from the Roman government. However, when St. Basil the Great was very young, that persecution ended when Constantine the Great, the emperor, actually converted to Christianity. And following this, the Roman Empire became Christian. So St. Basil the Great, his grandparents had been persecuted for the faith and even lost their lives as martyrs. His father had suffered terrible persecution. So his family before him had been strong Christians, made even stronger because of the persecution that they faced. But St. Basil the Great grew up in sort of this new world where Christianity was the religion of the empire. Now, there was a lot of confusion during his time, and there was a lot of figuring out what the church would look like. But St. Basil the Great became a leader. Before he was a leader, he left home. He grew up in what is now Turkey and went to study. And it was there that he met his friend Gregory. They became great friends, and they even both became later bishops and today saints. Now, one of the things that bonded these two men was that at the time there was a big confusion in the church. There was a heresy. People were believing incorrect things about Jesus Christ. St. Basil and St. Gregory and even some of Basil's brothers, they spoke the truth, they spoke it boldly, and they protected the beliefs, specifically the Nicene Creed, which we recite every Sunday at Mass. They protected that so that our core faiths are true. Now, St. Basil the Great studied monastic life. He helped promote it and spread it. He also helped steer the church at the very beginning. But one of the beautiful things about St. Basil the Great is that, yes, he's the most famous, but he really grew up in this beautiful Christian family. It was from the witness of his grandparents who died as martyrs. It was the witness of his sister, Amelia, who gave her life to God as a consecrated virgin, even before nuns were a thing. It was through all of their examples that he was able to choose holiness and become the great leader in our church still to this day because of his writings, but especially during his lifetime. And so on this feast day of St. Basil the Great, I encourage you, my friends, to pray for your families. It is so much easier to be holy, to choose to be saints when we are surrounded by good and holy people in our family. But we all need prayer and support to 
be holy. And so I challenge you, my friends, to find a minute today, just a minute, to quietly pray for each of your family members, that they can choose to follow Christ and be holy, just like St. Basil and his family. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. I know a lot of us are pulling out new calendars this time of year, vowing to be more organized. At least that's what I'm doing. If you're in this with me, we encourage you to stop by the Catholic Sprouts shop and check out our brand new Catholic calendar magnets, which will make any calendar or even your fridge a little more Catholic and help you remember the feast days. Check the notes for this podcast for the direct link. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.